folks excited about this Lubbock's newest golf course is less than three months away from welcoming members. KCBD News Channel 11's Natalie Falkenberry spoke with the Red Feather golf team and the owner about how this dream is finally becoming a reality. Well, I think Lubbock was underserved with golf courses, a city that's growing as fast as ours. Uh, so we thought there was a need, especially on the south side of town. Nearly three years in the making, Red Feather Golf and Social Club is in its final stages before bringing what he calls a laid back luxury 18 hole golf course to the 806. Just a different vibe, uh, no dress code, um, you know, no cart paths, drive anywhere, low membership, so that it has high availability to our members. Not your typical golf course. In fact, Garrett Holt, the course superintendent, came all the way from Shady Oaks and Fort Worth to ensure this course is unlike any other in West Texas, especially when it comes to irrigation. Built a ply lake that is almost 100 foot deep and six acres that we can collect all the runoff from 946 surrounding acres. We've also got some offsite wells, and if need be, we have a city tap as well if we need water. So we should never have an issue with water. Aside from luscious greens and rolling fairways, Rouson hopes Red Feather becomes a place where Lubbock's youth will grow their love for the game. We're partnering with Lubbock Cooper uh, to do that, to give them a great facility. Um, you know, we want to produce pros and college scholarships out of this place. And of course, the team will be bringing local food to Red Feather members. We'll have Dirk's Chicken and then we'll have LBK Brewery. We're partnering with them. But Cameron West, who is the chef at the West Table, he's going to be curating our menu out here, and we're really excited about that. Red Feather has already filled a quarter of its membership positions. For more information on becoming a member before the course opens in August, we will have a link at kcbd.com. Natalie Falkenberry, KCBD News Channel 11.